Hey you guys, Chris Carlson here and I am here to talk with you today about the importance of getting that booking date down on the calendar when you're at a party. And this is something, man, that I have had to coach a lot of people on and I'm telling you it's such a big deal which is why I'm here to chat with you about it. So when you're at a party, you've probably heard on some of my other videos or podcasts that it's critical that you ask every single person at a party or really anywhere if they want to have a party or really you're not going to ask you're going to say you should do a party it'll be so fun so when they say when you've gotten over the objections and you've talked and they say you know what i would i think i would like to do that that would be fun awesome i'm so excited let me talk about how we're going to do this okay the most important thing i want you to hear right now on this video is if you don't get a date down on your calendar that night on the spot for that booking you've got a 60 to 70 percent shot of losing that booking and never having it so some of you if you're newer or if your calendar isn't very full and someone says they want to book you're going to be like yay i'm so excited i got a booking and if they say i'll call call me tomorrow and we'll get a date you'll go okay i'll i'll do that for sure i'll call you tomorrow at 10. don't do that you guys they're not going to pick up the phone they're not going to book with you don't do that you go you know what you know, if they say, you know what, I don't have my calendar right now, you know what, we're gonna pick a date. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna look over your order form. I'm gonna give you my calendar and always have a paper calendar there, you guys. This is a tip. Don't pick up your phone in this technology world we live in. Don't pick up your iPad or your phone. Pick up a paper calendar with all of your bookings and all of your appointments on it. I hope you guys have heard my training before. If you don't have bookings, fake that you do and put appointments on your calendar. Don't be like, my whole calendar is empty. Which date would you like? Okay, people like to work with busy people. So what you're gonna do if they say they wanna book is you're gonna go, I'm so excited, let me tell you how we're gonna do this. Lead from the very beginning confidently. And if they start to say, oh, I don't know about you, because I want you to hand them the calendar. And if they say, I don't know yet, I've gotta talk to my friends or whatever, you're gonna say, you know what? I totally get it, it happens all the time. I'm still gonna have you pick a date. And if you get home, because I find that most people know what works for them, they don't think they do. So you're probably gonna have a better idea. Let's just talk like, do you know if, are weekends better for you typically, or is it usually a Monday through a Thursday? And if they go, well, actually I've got wrestling usually with my son on Wednesdays and weekends are crazy. Okay, cool, so we've ruled it down to three. What about Mondays? They're usually a good night for parties. Does that usually work for you? Actually, Mondays are usually pretty good. Okay, cool, well, I've got the 12th or the 16th open, so I'm gonna pencil one in, which one's better off the top of your head? And if she says the 12th, I'm gonna go, okay, cool, you know what, I've got you down for the 12th, I'm gonna get you your hosting package so you get to take home all your goodies, and then you know what, tomorrow I'm gonna check in with you. And what's the best way to communicate? Is it best to text you or Facebook message you? How do you like to chat? And if she says, text me, I'm gonna go, you know what, I'm gonna text you tomorrow morning, and I'm gonna make sure that the 12th looks good when you do get home and look at your calendar. How does that sound? And she'll say yes or no, and I'm like, hey, if it doesn't work, we'll just bump it to the 16th the next week, no biggie. See how I got that booking down? You guys, it works every single time. But if they say, you know what, I need to wait, this is a momentum business, and if you don't keep that momentum and that excitement going, tomorrow, heck, maybe when they get home that night, their kids are barfing all night, and the dog's sick, and their day's crazy at work and whatever, and they're like, why did I ever say I might commit to doing a party? You've lost it. But if they've committed to that party, and you text them tomorrow saying, it was so much fun to meet you, I can't wait for your party. Have you tried your samples that I sent you so far? Guess what, they're connected to you now. They've made that commitment, and that's a huge deal. So there's tons of different objections that you can get with, you know, I don't know if off my calendar, I need to talk to my friends. You always just say, you know what, I totally get that and that's fine, but we're still gonna put a tentative date down because as you can see, my calendar gets really busy and I wanna make sure to save the date for you and I'll just check in tomorrow morning and if we need to move it, it's fine, okay? So this will take some practice and that's okay, but it's something that's really important that I want you guys to focus on. So hopefully that was helpful.